how to use Canva to design a logo. Hi guys, in this video, I'll tell you exactly how you guys can use Canva to design a logo for your business brand or for your personal project or for your business cards as well. It's very, very easy to do for any one of those cases. So firstly, as soon as you guys come out to canva.com, this is the dashboard that you guys are gonna be seeing. So now from over here, I want you guys to click on the search bar and this is the search bar from where you guys can type in whatever type of logo style you want and Canva is going to give you so many options so let's say you want a minimalistic logo so what are you going to do you're simply going to type in over here minimalistic and then after that type in logo so wait for a few seconds and you will have these recent searches come up so now from over here simply click on that and then after that you guys are going to have so many different options come up so over here these are all the templates that you guys can use to design a logo now canva gives you so many options that you guys can pick from now of course many other websites don't give you these options but all of these templates over here are copyright free meaning that you guys can use these templates to make yourself a logo and you won't have to face any copyright strikes whatsoever so now from over here if you want to go with the template you can go with the template but some of these templates are paid so i would not advise going with the template if you guys don't have the premium version of canva you guys can also start from the left side with a blank minimalistic logo option so essentially you will be starting with a brand new blank canvas and you will be able to just simply do everything from scratch now as a beginner i would not advise that you guys do that i would highly advise that you guys pick a template and also you guys can filter these templates to find exactly what you need from the left side you guys have style options theme options and color options as well so now from over here i'm gonna basically pick a template so all of these logos are absolutely stunning but we want something which is catchy which is minimalistic and which also looks really nice so let's scroll down and let's see what we find so over here we have many options so i think i'm gonna go with this one because like this has a very nice handwritten feel to it and this also looks really professional so i'm gonna click on that and then as soon as I click on that, it takes me over to the blank canvas page. And over here, we have a copy of the logo. So now if I were to double click on this text, up top, you guys can see that we have all the options to customize this text. We can click on the font and we can change up the text. We can also increase or decrease the size of the text. We can also change the color, make it bold, have it be underlined. And also we can turn it into uppercase and lowercase as well. We also have the option to change up the alignment. We can also change this into a list if we have multiple lines. And also we can increase or decrease letter spacing and line spacing as well if we have multiple lines over here. So now coming back over here, I'm going to firstly change the text. So firstly, I will select all of the text and then after that, I will type in over here, logo design. So you guys can literally type in whatever you want and it's going to give you a very nice style. And then below that, we have the option for a subheading. So over here, I'll type in easy to create so basically this is completely customizable so right now it looks very simple now for some people this may be the logo that they want and it's absolutely fine if they want that but for me i want it to be a bit more colorful i want it to have a bit more volume so from the left side I can click on elements and I have so many elements. So considering that this is a hand-drawn logo, I will type in over here, hand-drawn. So once I type in hand-drawn over here, now I have so many different graphical elements come up. So basically you guys can type in whatever you want over here and Canva is gonna give you that. So I'm gonna basically pick a graphic from over here, which I think is gonna look really, really nice. So let's just take a look over here. Up top, I saw some lines, so like these lines are good. So if you end up liking any element on Canva, you guys can simply drag it and drop it over here. Once you guys drag and drop it, you guys can resize it by simply holding these corners. And then once you guys resize it, you can also change up the rotation by simply clicking and moving your mouse right or left. And that's going to enable you to basically just rotate the logo. So now we have some more depth in the logo. Now I'm going to add in a background. So from the left side, I will click on backgrounds at the bottom. And then once I do that, now I have so many different elements. You guys can choose from patterns, gradients, 
abstract logos you guys can also pick from landscapes and also you guys can pick from food so i'm gonna basically pick something close to nature so these space backgrounds look really nice so i will just simply double click on one and then as soon as i double click now as you guys can see that we have that background over here so right now we can barely see the logo text because the background is very very similar in color to our logos text so i'm gonna delete this background i will import in something which is more brighter so i will simply import in perhaps this particular background and wow like this looks really really nice like honestly i am really liking this particular background so from the left side i will go back in elements and i will just simply import in a couple more elements and then after that we can basically have have our logo be done so we have some very nice options so what i'm gonna do is i will just simply from over here see if i would like any more elements now make sure to take your time with this and also you guys can add in more text in this logo as well by simply clicking on the left side on text and then after that you guys can from over here just simply drag and drop any text and you guys can replace this font with any other style of font as well but i would highly advise sticking to the standard template text because those texts are really really nice by themselves as well so there's probably no need to change up the text so once you guys done this now essentially your logo is pretty much done because you have your basic design done now unless you guys want to add some specific graphics like for example if i were to come back to elements i can type in over here paint brush so once i type in paint brush now over here i will get some elements so for example if i want to have this in the background like uh, this over here so i will just simply send it backward you guys can send it backward so that it is not on top of the text by simply right clicking and then clicking on send backward so like do this a few times and your element is going to be in the background so now it looks even better with this particular graphic in the background so now we have essentially our basic logo done now you guys can also remove the background as well if you guys don't want to and there you go you have your logo done now from the top right you guys can simply click on share and then after that you guys can simply click on download and then make sure the format is png or the format is in vector so i would prefer the format to be in png and you guys can resize this particular logo to be any size that you want once you guys have exported it because this is going to be in a vector format so to get this logo simply choose the first page and then after that click on download and make sure that transparent background is checked and also make sure that the logo is not being compressed for lower quality and then click on download and now your logo is going to be downloaded on your computer and that is how you design a logo on canva so guys this was the video thank you so much for watching take care till next time goodbye